if you're here we're locked in we're besties this is my first first video and i wanted it to be like a get to know me because y'all don't know me y'all don't know who i am and i don't know y'all we're gonna get into a get to know me and a get ready with me so i'm gonna do my makeup that's why i have this here and we're just gonna talk like we're just gonna shop it up my name is talia but you can call me tally some of my friends call me that some of my friends just call me talia but a lot of people that don't know me they get my name wrong. They either call me Talia or Talia. And that's okay. That just says that my name is unique. Most new people that meet me, I just say, you can call me T. The real ones know. In 2020, we were on lockdown. We were in COVID in Atlanta. We couldn't really go anywhere, couldn't work. I was in the middle of going to school when they shut everything down. I was at Georgia State. We were about to go on spring break and when COVID had started. And my teacher, he was like, oh, there's a virus going around. We're going to be off campus and do our classes online until spring break. So it's only supposed to be for a week. It's like we'll be back after spring break da 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 when the virus goes away we never went back to class so i went back home to live with my parents and it was really crazy i had moved away to live with a roommate and it ended up not being a good situation for me because of a lot of factors i'll just put it like that so when covid came I moved back with my parents because I couldn't work, so I couldn't pay rent. Ended up staying with my parents all the way through COVID until I was suddenly, I was like, okay, I'm going to move back out on my own. And I wanted to get my own place by myself. It was really hard because I didn't have a lot of money to live on my own here. And I wasn't in my, my field of choice. I had graduated with my degree, but we were still on lockdown, so I couldn't go to jobs and like interview and stuff the way I wanted to. So I was like, I'll get a roommate. It ended up being one of my coworkers that I had worked with before COVID. And we had knew each other like for a few years. And we ended up being like really good friends, I feel like, and gym partners while COVID was going on. We would work out on like live stream together because she works she was a personal trainer and i'm not gonna say her name because you know whatever i want to protect her identity still even though we're not friends anymore but she was going through the same things i was going through at the time where we were both living back with our parents and we wanted to have our own places and we didn't have a lot of money. We both worked part-time. So with our incomes combined, we ended up getting a place. At first it seemed like the perfect match because we both worked out all the time. Like we both worked out together. We would eat together. Like we would go like get lunch after we worked out and stuff. And we just, we got along. We had a lot of things in common, I thought. We both liked creating content. It was just cool. We created content together sometimes too. Don't go back on my page and try to find it because you might see it. If you find it, I really don't care. <laughs> we, we ended up living together in 2020. I quickly started to see that we were not as alike as I thought. And unfortunately, it turned into a toxic living environment. We just weren't compatible this is a life lesson if you have friends that you're really good friends with and you feel like you want to move in with them really think about what makes you guys friends see how they live think about how you like to live i didn't i didn't think about any of that i was just like i need to move i need to freaking get out of my parents house I don't have a lot of money right now. So I feel like we rushed into it, which was another reason why 
it wasn't a good idea in hindsight, I quickly realized we were not a good match. It turned into a situation where I hated living there. I felt trapped because it was a toxic living environment and I didn't make a lot of money at first and I didn't have a car. So I couldn't just move somewhere else because I couldn't afford it. When we both moved in, we were both single. A month or two after we moved in, I had met what is now my boyfriend. This was my first living space where I had a boyfriend that would come see me and you know spend the night and do stuff like that. When you're living with another woman and having to explain how to I don't know how to I don't know I don't want to say it like I'm like being weird but I don't know it's hard having to explain to another woman how to act around when it's a man in the house I don't know it was just like if my boyfriend is here visiting you know he's not gonna be walking around like his shirt off whatever it's not his house and he knows there's another woman here so if you know he's there don't come out half naked like i feel like that's regular another reason why i feel like it was a toxic living environment was because i felt like i wasn't free to express myself that's where the communication breakdown started what do you do when you don't know how to express yourself to somebody because you always feel like anything you say they're gonna take offense to it and also that's that's not something that a friend does whenever i talk to any of my friends i know they're gonna be willing to listen and not be offended because of whatever i don't know that was a big thing with us the communication breakdown was just a major barrier that ultimately made me decide that I didn't want to have a roommate anymore. I ended up living there for two years, by the way. So from 2020 all the way to the end of 2022, no, not even the end of 2022, it was more than two years. Because I just moved in this apartment and june was it june or july it was either june or july because i've only been here for three months ultimately resulted in me losing a friend somebody i thought that was my friend that's just a life lesson that you might learn in your 20s maybe you'll watch this video and be like um i'm not moving in with my friends I'll just wait till I can move in on my, on my own. It will save you a lot of stress. You think that it'll be hard to do it just because you've never done it, but it will save you a lot of stress to just wait till you can do it on your own. And it feels so much better when you can do it on your own. I don't have to worry about anybody coming in that I don't know is coming or anybody playing loud music when I'm trying to sleep or anybody, I don't know. I think I could go on for like probably hours. And when I was living there, like I still created content and would get like PR boxes. In the beginning, when I had to change my address from my parents' address to my apartment with my roommate, I would get a lot of PR delivered to my house. I remember the first time, like, I got a whole bunch at one time because it was like the beginning of the month or the end of the month or something. She was like, oh, I wish I could get, I wish I could get free stuff. And it's just like, you could, but you don't create content. So why don't you just get free stuff? It was a lot of weird stuff that I never peeped in the beginning. And now it's just like, it makes sense. If somebody is always making comments about how unhappy they are with themselves, and you come in and you're happy with yourself, or even just coming to terms with being happy with yourself and comfortable in your own skin, it they're going to be offended. I was learning that well after 
I moved out. I'm not a perfect person. I'm, I'm working on myself all the time, but I'm also not gonna make people feel bad because they feel good about themselves. I'm just trying to find peace. But yes, I'm living alone now and it just comes with its own new lessons. I really feel like it's more rewarding to learn these lessons on my own rather than having all my mistakes put on display in the living space of someone else. It just feels better to just do things by myself. Yes, I can't, I don't split bills anymore, but that's just one downside. I feel like there's so many more upsides to just building what I want to build on my own terms, living in this space by, by myself. Like, that's just all it is. And you could call it a villain origin story, but I don't feel like I'm not the villain and my old roommate is not the villain. We were both trying to find ourselves, living in a space where we started to clash and it just wasn't conducive to either of our groups. So now that I'm in this new space, I wish her the best and I can only find peace the way I know how. And that's me navigating through that with the tools that I have. I can't, I can't do that for anybody else and I can't wait on somebody else to move on my time because that's not fair. That's all I have to say about that. What I'm currently working on is just growth. I want to grow as a person. I want to become a better person. It does take a lot, but I'm glad that I have the space to be patient with myself. I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to rush. Even though the 20s don't last forever. What I always say is, I'm forever 21. <laughs> I don't care, honestly, because you can't put a time stamp on growth. We're always growing and evolving as humans. And I'm here for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because it do get ugly. I ain't even gonna cap. It do get ugly. It's a lot of good. It's some bad. And it do get ugly. But we're here. <laughs> so what I want to work on. On this channel is. Content. Like this. That's like get ready with me. Days in the life. Because I do so much. For one person, I could split myself into like four different people if we're being quite honest. And that's not even a flex. That's just how it is. I work a full-time job. I go to school still because I want my second degree. I am a city girl. I'm not even gonna lie. Like not city girl like Miami JT, but city girl in the aspect of, you know, I live in Atlanta. There's, if you live in Atlanta, you know there's always something to do. So I'm always in a space that a lot of people don't see if they don't live in Atlanta. I know like the way content is now, content creators or even people that just visit Atlanta show a side of it that's like restaurants and, you know, concerts and, you know, things to do around the city. But I've been here forever, so I know the ins and outs of what goes on. And I want to show this side through my eyes. I do like modeling. I work with brands around the city. So I just want to show parts of that that most people don't see. On social media, you catch glimpses and small clips if you're like tapped in in that way i want to document my growth in this stage of my life that's why i'm here that's why i want to be on this platform because it's becoming harder for me to make short form content i know tiktok you can make longer videos now but it's so hard to like edit a whole like i want to show so much and it's so hard to squeeze it into like a minute or a minute and a half or a few minutes. So that's what I'm here. I just want to show like 
on a more broader broad spectrum my life like i feel like it's cool i don't know the life i live is unique because i'm miss get up and go and i miss go and get it if i want to get it and i have fun while i'm doing it i think it's interesting to see another reason why i wanted to start this channel is because of my best friend so my best friend she's been a youtuber since we were like in high school and i've always like looked up to her and admired like that not just that about her but it just always seems so cool it's like to vlog and i just never got into it just because i don't have a camera but it's like what's my excuse now i don't have a camera but there are cameras on everything that we have now so it's literally no excuse for me not to start i create content on every other social platform so why not youtube that's why, that's another reason why I'm starting. So shout out to Alon. I'm gonna link her channel right here. And y'all can go watch her content because it's pretty freaking awesome. If I do say so myself. And you might see me there. I mean, you will see me there. I'm not. <laughs> I'm on there. I'm on there sometimes. We had a music channel. It was, in, it was like 2020 or 2019. We had a channel where we did music reviews it's still up there i'll link it here too if you want to watch it we've been friends since high school but we've known each other since elementary school because we grew up in the same area and our last names both start with j so in elementary school all the way up to high school we've been next to each other in the yearbook it's so funny she like really has over the years jogged my mind when it comes to being a creative and just going to those spaces that encourage being a creative we always did that together so this is kind of like me venturing out and doing it on my own now and it's scary i'm not gonna lie but i'm here for the journey i'm here for a good time and a long time hopefully we'll see basically this channel is going to be about my life like i said i've done pr unboxings like on tiktok and instagram since i've been a content creator really so we're just gonna bring it over to youtube i'm still gonna do it on those platforms but i feel like it'll be better here because it can be longer and more detailed where I can talk, have more time to just talk about the products. Also, comment down below what you guys want to see. Um, if you're new here, which you probably are because this is my first video. Comment down below your name and how you found my video. Because I want to know you guys. Why are you getting to know me? My ultimate goal is to become a YouTuber. And a lot of people might think it's too late. I'm not one of those people. I've never been a it's too late type of person. I feel like whatever you want to do in life or just at the moment, you should just do it. I don't see why not. Like, why, why shouldn't you? The world is on a time line. Our lives are on timelines. And we only have a certain amount of time before time runs out. So you gotta seize the day. The time is now. Ooh, this is too dark. Mm -hmm. This is too dark. I should have got the next color. This is kind of too dark. But yeah, I'm going to link my Instagram down below and my TikTok and my Twitter. Why did I hit the subscribe button? I mean, if you care, if you care, you should, you should. 
thing I think, oh, this, okay. I think that this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship and the great thing about new beginnings is that we're both here to learn I'm here to learn about what it actually means to be a YouTuber and you're here to learn about what it actually means to be me I feel like that's a beautiful thing starting this journey I'm going to gain more than what I thought I would lose by being scared to start I want to do it because in my heart like I said before I just love to make content and it just makes me feel something that nothing else does for me and I really just love it so if you're here if you found me I really appreciate you you're a part of this journey that I'm on and I don't know where we're gonna end up but I'm here for the ride the lashes are always the hardest parts and the most nerve wracking because if you mess it up it's over when I mess up my lashes I be wanting to take off the whole makeup Oh, well, this is cute. Thank you, Kiss. Kiss Cosmetics. This is the Hybrid Extension Lashes by I Envy. This style is Classic Hybrid. And what I use on them is the strip lash adhesive and clear but before well I, I put it on the lash like I brush it on with the brush it has to dry for a little bit like a few seconds because if you put it on it's too wet it's not gonna stick so I brush it on there and then while that's drying I take this lash glue liner and put it on my eyelid so my eyelid can be sticky so i'm just putting this on my eyelid so this lash glue liner just put it on and it gets sticky like this it's like extra insurance to make sure my lashes don't come up if the glue is like if it's a gap in the glue the gap is eliminated with this combo. Like, I really snapped when I came up with this combo because look at that. Look at that. Like, can't tell me nothing. The lip is very blurry. So we're gonna use this lip gloss. This is, literally it's called this is Milky Gloss by NYX, and the color is Cherry Skimmed. This is like a neutral, and I really love it because it's pink, but it's not super, super, super pink, like Pink Friday. Y'all remember when everybody was in a pink wig? Nikki, Nikki had the girls running to Mac for that bright pink it looked good on her, but I know I was looking real crazy. The poop -po 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 pink wig. Big ass in my wig lash. Um, so that's the next. I'm gonna rub that in. And then this is almost empty. This is just the Fenty, Fenty gloss bomb. I don't pour this mess out. It's time to get in the room. But this is like my go to to put on top. This is just so cute. It goes with like everything. It just adds like, it just elevates my lips. I feel like it makes my lips look bigger than what they are too. 
because I'm a little, I'm a small top lip. I got lips. I got more lips than some people, but my top lip is very small. So the lip gloss elevates it a little bit. We got this Fenty Kilowatt in the color Hustla Baby. This is the highlighter. I had the pink highlighter too, which is what I really wanted to use, but I like this one too. It's like a little, it gives you a little sun kiss type of glow. And I can't walk with it. And I'll just put it like under my eyebrow, above my brow bone, on my cheeks, on my nose, in my cube as well. I love a highlighter because it just adds more dimension to the face for me. It's like pixie dust. You can never go wrong with some pixie dust. Like, it just adds such a glow. Yeah. And, uh, but I just love it on my nose because it just makes me feel like I. Cute, right? my hair. So y'all probably thinking, what is this? This is my dread. I've had this dread since I graduated high school. She's she's a ride or die. I graduated high school in 2015. So she's been here through it all, and sometimes she just hangs in the back. And you won't know she's there, but sometimes, you know, she likes to hang out in the front. And she's just a part of me. It's like a love lock. If you look it up, you'll see the meaning, but it just embodies oneness of mind, body, and spirit. So that's why she's here. And I love her. But that's the end of my video. I'm gonna clean this up and then I'll see you on the next one. Hi.